Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? Happy Friday to my beautiful sisters. Y'all, I was just sitting here, right? I had some bad news today. One of our great uh, DJs uh, on the trail ride, um, he was going home last night and uh, he was in a wreck. He got out of the car and had a massive heart attack. So we're waiting on some uh, updates. We're praying for him. So that's why I'm, I'm recording today, just to say life is short. We don't know uh, what's going to be on tomorrow, when we're going to die. So this is what I'm going to say, because I learned this a long time ago. You got to just live every day. Yes, trials and tribulations come, but they come to make us strong, you know. However, if you're alive, you still can do things. You still can live. You can be in a good place when you pray and when you meditate and fast, you know? And of course, y'all, we have to pray all the time, every day. We just got to pray. So if y'all can pray for Cedric Johnson, that's his name. Uh, for healing. He got a lot of people praying for him. So if y'all can do it, that's wonderful. But we're not going to stay on the low. We got to go up to the high. Do y'all hear Alexa? Because you know, those people in the back office, they, they can listen and <laughs> they can hear the music, y'all. I cut it down really low. Because you know, I just want to sometimes just do this and have a little music in the background. But I, I put it down low, so I can't hear it. So I know y'all can't hear it. But I hope in the back office, they're not going to hear it. So look at y'all. Salud. Mm -hmm. So now I have a question for men. I've heard, even today, uh, in the world, as I was traveling to and from and stopping here and stopping there, I don't know what my look is in a man's eyes. You know, I have a, you know, I have a great conversation, a good personality. I have a nice walk, um, a great smile. I know that because I know me. But a lot of men always think that I'm married or that I'm already, you know, obligated to somebody. Do, I mean, I want to know, is there a look that you guys see uh, to say, yeah, you know, I'm not going to flirt with her or I'm not going to, you know, speak to her or something like that of a look? Because I've heard that a lot of times, you know, some... Somebody asked me today, couldn't believe I was single. I'm thinking like, uh, yeah, yeah, right here. Single girl. <laughs> mm, single girl right here. It's me. So I told my best friend, I, I called, I said, girl, why do everybody think I'm, well, I didn't say everybody. I said, you know, something different. <laughs> but I was like, why do men think that I'm married or already obligated to somebody? So I told her that I'm going to order a t-shirt. So when I walk away, because everybody want to see this walk, I'm going to say single as fuck on the back. Uh-huh. Cheers. I am. Because do I have to wear something that says I'm single? You know, I'm ready to date. And I know that a lot of people are going to say, it's going to come when you're not looking. I'm not looking. I'm just talking about it. But I'm hopeful as well, you know? Yeah. But I just hope I'm not giving off the message when I get into the world, you know, uh, that men look at me and say, you know, she's taken already or maybe she's married. 
Well, this don't mean anything today. That, oh Lord, that don't mean anything today. Really. I know a couple of men who married that don't wear those rings. And they probably haven't worn a lot because I don't see no tan line. So, you know, that's questionable. Mm -hmm. Another question. When you have known somebody for years and they was, you know, you know, thick and tall and handsome and and then you meet them again like seven years later and they really are thin, the look is different and the first thing we think is, are you sick? Because <laughs> y'all, I did that to someone who reached out to me and um, yeah, he looked so different. I was like, and I asked him, I said, are you okay? Because you look different. He said, well, yeah, I just lost a little weight. Why? Was it a health issue or do you have something? I think in today's time, y'all, for me as a single woman and a black woman, that is, let me just put that out there as well. Dating is just like different. It has changed. Uh, and y'all have heard me say this before. A lot of our black men are not looking for us anymore. They don't even look at us no more. <laughs> Hell, they don't even speak to us. <laughs> and then, you know, some of us, you know, we love the black men and we kind of take ourselves out of the dating world because we don't want to do any other race well. I do. I think. I don't know. Well, I do know. <laughs> Cheers. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> but one thing I, I don't want to do, I don't want to um Miss a love, Jones, that's for me because of my own thoughts, you know. Because we'll do that. When sometimes when you single for a long time, you get really doggone picky. Y'all, I remember I have to tell y'all again, I think I told y'all before, I had three index cards, front and back, where well, my man was supposed to be, what he should have, yeah, what the next five years was supposed to be. Yeah, I had it. I kept looking at those cars over the years. I had it. I had it, y'all. And one day I woke up and I realized that man don't even exist. <laughs> that's, that, that's, he pre. So I had to throw those cars away. But I did a new card with like five things that I will not waver on. But it, uh, you know, I've always desired, if I can say that, a tall, handsome man. I don't, not a light skin. I like dark skin men. But that's my preference. You see, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes we. We have our own preference that we don't see nothing else. We just see right here. And I'm trying to let that go because maybe my love is bright-skinned. I don't know. But my preference was, you know, the tall man and, you know, at least six foot. At least. That, that, that was my preference alone. Not today. That's, that's not today, but it was for a long time. And he had to drive a truck. Who does that? He had to be content and established with a great job. He had to have a great wardrobe. Came wear tennis shoes every day. Great smelling cologne. Yeah. Not too many baby mamas, if any. And the list was long, long, this and this and that, 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 that. 
So now what I will want once I meet him, once God sends whomever, he has to be godly. That's number one. You have to have a God life. You know, that's important. And uh, you can't want no more children. I'm done with children. I'm not raising any more children. And you have to have some stability in your job life, in your physical life, in your mind. And you have to be adventurous, you know. You can't plan everything. Just sometimes you just got to pack your bags and say, let's go. I'm about that life. Really, I am, y'all. Before COVID, of course. And you got to love sex. I mean, yeah, good sex. You want it all the time. Every day. I mean, well, <laughs> I do when it's good. It has to be, like, deliciously good. Yeah. And you have to... Uh, you have to have budgets. You have to be great with finances because I'm a budget girl. Really, I am. I'm a budget girl. So, um, yeah. So, is that too much to ask? And, of course, have one love me because I'm going to give you everything you need when you need it, how you need it, hey, how you need it. Yeah, I'm that girl. But the, but the only way that that can happen is if you're good to the girl. You know, one thing about it, when men really open up their hearts and love a woman, when that woman feels that love, mm, I'm about to rock my leg. She opens up everything. <laughs> and she treats that man like a king, like he was he's supposed to be treated. But you got to establish yourself as well. We'll be your queen all day, all night. My generation, that is. I don't know about these new generations. Them mother chuckers is all over the place. Lord, I look at my children and I'm thinking like, where did you get that thought process from? Like, oh my God, really? Oh, oh. Mm-mm. This is for the older generation. I said the older, not old. The older generation. That's me. Yeah. But you know, I like young men. I, I, can't, I can't even lie. <laughs> I think I dated like two older men, like my age, a, little, a couple of years. Who oh, is challenging, y'all? Because. Yeah, just because, hmm. you know, I've always said I want, you know, and, and I even married someone younger than me as well. Bless his heart and rest in peace, uh, Russ. Um, he was eight years younger than me, but I go 10. I don't go, I try not to go past 10 unless I'm just want to play. <laughs> but these days you can't play with people because if it's good to a mother chucker, and you want to play with him, his ass going to be sleeping at your door. So be careful. Everybody can't handle your good goods. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> they cut your ass up. Mm. But, uh, but I'm trying to change things. I don't, I don't want my preference anymore. I mean, I desire my preference. But, you know, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, I want, um, well, I'm trying. I mean, you can't be shorter than me. That ain't gonna happen because I like heels sometimes when I, you know, go out, go out into the world. I have some cute little heels that I like to wear. I mean, well, at least it's high. That's it. That's all. You got to know how to dress too. Because if somebody 
you know, invite us to a ball. I'm going to need you to, you know, take out your tuxedo because I'm going to have my ball dress ready. And, and, and the hair I'm going to wear. <laughs> okay. For real, for real. Yeah. If anything you can know about me, I love uh, to change my hairstyles. So, really, I don't, you know. I can be anybody want me to be with the hair. You know, I can be a blonde, a brunette, a curly, straight, your nappy as hell hair. Okay, I can do it for you. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I probably have some of that hair in my box already. Ask my friends. Mm. <laughs> I want simplicity. You know, love should be simple. You know, we make it, uh, people use complicated. What the hell is complicated? Either it is or it's not. Complicated is the gray area, not knowing exactly what you want or what you want to go through and how long you want to go through it. That's that's the complicated. Now, I know nothing is not easy. I know that. Everything good has to be fought for. But it's a good fight because you know, you know what you have. You know what I mean? It's a good fight. You know who she is. You know who he is. It's a good fight. I'm not going to lose him. I'm not going to lose her. It's a good fight. Fight for love. Y'all know I'm all about that love thing now. God taught me that a long time ago, and it ain't going nowhere. I know how to love. Intentionally, I know how to do that. And unconditionally, I know how to do that. Only by God's grace that he taught me. How to love. And my love, a lot of people can't handle this love. So I don't give it to everybody. So, look here, I'm single. I'm happy being single, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I desire a man because I like to have sex. But I can be single and happy as hell. Because I do not want to be in a relationship with a man that... I'm 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 not happy and I'm miserable and I'm I, I don't smile anymore. Oh hell no! Uh, salute to happy, mm, happy single that is. Yeah, I'm there and been here for a minute and I don't care. And I like genuine, genuine. Uh, genuine, uh, whatever y'all call it. I like genuine love. And you, you'll know it. Because it's different. It feels different. It moves you different. Because it's different. Yeah. So I'm not going to stay here no longer. I think I've... I don't even know how long I own. <laughs> I don't know how long I was on here right now, but... Y'all probably know, huh? <laughs> but look at y'all. I'm looking forward to a lot of things. Uh, I know we have only one day at a time. Uh, I had a vision, and I'm not going to lose my vision because I think some, it, well, I know dreams was interpreted in the Bible. And God gave a lot of people visions as well. So, van life, RV life is in my dreams. But to buy a quadruple building or have someone build it with, uh, you know, quadruple is, you know, up and there's two apartments here and two apartments upstairs for my family, my, my boys. I have three boys. So, uh, that was a vision I had the other night. And... And I and I called my older son and say, you know, if I had, if I bought a building or if I if God blessed me to build the building, uh, would you live in the same building where your mama live? He said, Yeah, mama, I will because you 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 you, you mama. I mean, but but mama, you a cool mama. I mean, you you got your boundaries though, but. I say, yeah, but I won't, I won't be on the same floor because, you know, y'all have company and y'all have dinners and, you know, and I, I'll, you know, I love going to their house. I ain't going to lie. We have fun. We do. But, um, 
I want to be on the top floor because I don't need y'all stomping on my head. That's what I told him. He just laughed. But so that's what I'm looking for. I actually look for a builder. Uh, and then I saw some more that's brand new built. So that was a vision. Visions come for a reason. So if I can put all my family in one building, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be happy about that, you know? Because I, you know, one you, you know, one thing I believe is that don't wait till people die to go to their funeral. Oh, that I hate that with a all colors of purple. I hate that. I need to salute you while you're alive, so you can know I love you. Let's eat together, you know. Let's toast together. Yeah. Let's smile at each other. Never wait till somebody die because once they in that casket, that's done. Diddy diddy done done. Diddy 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 done done. It's done. The hell they gonna see with you? I already said. Y'all already know. I know. I said anybody, and I told my family this, y'all. If y'all wait till I die to come see me, if God gave me one breath, I'm gonna get up and slap the shit out of y'all. That's simple. Simplicity is my thing. Don't do that. Stop doing it as well. Black people. I don't know what the white people do because I'm not white. But black people do that. So look here, y'all. I wanted to be with y'all. I'm going to cut my music up loud, y'all, because now I'm ready to dance. And I can't dance with y'all because it's too low. Eh, 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 eh. You know what? I think I like this better. Just chit-chatting without eating all the time. So... Salute, salute, sip, sip, this good. Who still? Eh, 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 eh. Bye.